Communities in Ukum, Logo, and Katsina Ala local government areas that constitutes the Sankara political bloc in Burner State have for the last decade been plagued by attacks by armed headsmen and local militia groups. The area is home to the popular Zaki Biam International Yan Market along with the many other economic activities that local militia see as sources of revenue, so they impose in levies on the people. It is also home to the late Tewase Akwaza, popularly known as Ghana, and the lawmaker representing Kassina Allah East constituency, Mr. Jonathan Agbiji, who has been accused of links with remnants of the Ghana group. <laughs> However, the lawmakers' constituent members have come out to disassociate their representative from the allegations, noting that he was previously arrested on such charges but found guilty, blaming his current ordeal on the political impasse in the Benue All Progressive Congress internal crisis. The group further says Mr. Agbidi, who was selected to be majority leader of the state assembly, is being persecuted for his loyalties. We wish to inform the DSS and all security agencies, as well as the general public and the media or the press, that what is happening to Honorable Agbidye is a frame up through a series of onslaughts orchestrated by his political enemies within and outside the APC. We are calling on everybody involved to shoot their swords. This is just the beginning. There is a lot more we can do going forward, and that is why we are calling for the release of the uh, detained brother, Honorable Jonathan Agbidi. These allegations are heavy, and Governor Heisen earlier taxed the security agencies to do their due diligence without compromise in order to ensure peace in the state. There are specific local governments that are in the front lines of the insecurities, up to eight of them including Ukum and uh, I think Kasina Allah as well. Um, and then Logo, that is the Sankara artist, you know, where this uh, gentleman hails from. So if anything that deals with security, uh, the security people would, would iron it out and then would let all of us know. Insecurity in Sankara has resulted in the death of farmers abductions and fleeing residents. Many believe that this has negatively impacted food production in Benue with the attendant effect on the price of food across the country.